In this video I'm transforming, nope, sorry, can't do the YouTube voice. I'm just making another terrarium, okay? But it's a cool one this time, I promise. I'm also adding three species of animals. One of them is this millipede. For the other two, you'll have to watch to the end. Whoa, the suspense. So I bought this glass pyramid thing and thought it would be cool to make a terrarium inside it. Brass gold plated, that's not real gold, right? So this thing is probably worthless. First, I need to get this junk out. They are from Swarovski or something. Never heard of it. Now that it's empty, it looks perfect to make terrarium in with three levels. Each level can hold a different animal. But first, I need to get some supplies. Whenever you get moss out of nature, make sure you don't get too much from one place. That way, other people will still be able to film themselves collecting moss. Also, always respect the animals and don't bother them. Just watch them from a distance and leave them in peace. Poke. Don't judge me, y'all wanted to do that too. Okay, now you can judge me. So I collected a huge bag of wheat moss. It's its moss. First step is to add soil. This is the easiest part of a terrarium build. Okay, I have a feeling this terrarium is gonna suck. I'm just gonna show another angle so you can't see me mess up. Yeah, we're just gonna move on from the dirt adding footage. But not before this close up of dirt, you definitely need it. You're welcome. The first plant I'm gonna put in is this fern. I hope to god that is not what she said. I'm putting it in the back because I think that is where it will look the best. This is what it looks like so far. Amazing. Time to add moss. Here you can see my hand. Don't worry, I'll switch to another angle so you can see more of my hand. Adding a big piece in the middle. And this is what it looks like so far. Yeah, I discovered the animated titles in my editing program. We're gonna have some fun now. Yes, I'm a child. I better continue working on the terrarium, because this one, obviously, can't wait. Adding some more moss in the front. At this point I realized I was an idiot. I should have taken the terrarium off this turning table thing. Oh well. Adding a stick. Perfect. Don't worry, this level of the terrarium is almost done. I know you're getting bored, but wait till you see the cute animals I'm gonna add later. Adding some leaf litter as decoration. You should try this in your living room. It really ties the place together. Now, I want to try something special in this terrarium. You'll see what later. But for it to work, I need to place a stick in the middle of level 3 of the terrarium. I'll explain why in a minute. So that's level 3 done. And yes, I'm gonna use as much of these animated titles as possible in this video. Level 1 and 2 are going to go a lot faster, because I got experience adding dirt now. I know you wanted to see more of my hand. And now it's time to add more moss. You thought something exciting was going to happen, didn't you? Nope, more moss. You'll never guess what I'm going to add here. It's moss. Everybody knew that. Almost done with level 2, adding a stick to change it up a bit, but then back to moss. Don't worry, this is the last piece. This was level 2. I just have to add one last thing to make my special plan work. I'm gonna add a stick at the same place as level 3. That way it gives the illusion that the stick is going through the glass all the way to the top. I wasn't happy with the result, so I tried to rearrange it a bit, but of course, I effed up. Okay, that looks so bad, but please go to the comment section and comment that this is the best thing you've ever seen. I don't care that it's a lie, I just, I just need this, okay? The last level is a tip, not a lot to put in. Don't say it. That's what she said. Adding the last piece of moss of this whole video, enjoy it. It will be over before you know it. Adding the stick so it looks like it's going all the way to the top. I wanted to put this terrarium on the turning table thing to make an epic transition, but it looks really shitty from any other side than the front. F it, I'll do it anyway. Here we go. Epic transition incoming. Whoosh. Yeah, I don't know where real YouTubers get their sound, so I had to improvise. We're just, uh, we're just gonna move on from that without talking about it. 
adding a bit of water and then it's time to get the animals. I'm getting most of the animals out of my biggest terrarium. This terrarium has grown a lot since the last time you have seen it. And there is the animal for level 1 of the terrarium. In case you don't know what animal this is, this is a snail. I collected only two because the top of the pyramid is pretty small. The animals that are going in level 2 are these millipedes. And if you have seen any of my other videos, you know these things are horny. So even though they're not going in the top of the pyramid, they're definitely getting more than the tip. I bet the suspense of not knowing animal 3 was almost killing you. It is somewhere in here. Can you see them now? Let's take a closer look. There are a lot of them under this coconut thing. There they are. You can't believe how long I spent to get this footage. These things don't like to be filmed. These are zebra isopods. No clue why they call them that. But look at this little face. This one looks different, but it's the same species. It is just another color morph. They come in all variations of bigger and smaller stripes. But they all look similar. Something's not right here. We have an imposter. The orange one is another species, but they seem to get along. We can learn a thing or two from isopods. I'm going to collect three of them to put in level three of the terrarium. Bob here is going to have a hell of a story to tell his friends about being abducted by an ugly alien. Here they are. These are the chosen ones. At least these two are the chosen ones. I don't know what this one is, but definitely not the chosen one. But you can see its skills though. That is what isopods use to breed, and that is why they always need to be in a humid environment. Okay, enough talking. I think these ones are ready to move into their new home. The first ones to go in are the snails in level 1 of the terrarium. That is one. And there goes two. Look at them, cruising around. So majestic. Second to go in are the millipedes. This one is just playing dead, I hope. And there goes the second one. Wants to get off my hand as soon as possible. Yeah, you don't know where that thing has been. And then last, but not least, the chosen ones. Come on, get off. Finally. And this one is definitely a guy, because he has only one thing on his mind, s uh, food. Time for the last two to get in, and also time for one last fail of the video. Don't worry, no ice pot was harmed in the making of this video. I better close the terrarium before they escape. I put it on a windowsill that doesn't get direct sunlight. Now, go click on the video in the end screen. But first, thank you to everyone that watched, and to all patrons. Every new patron gets a spirit animal. Thank you all.